come home. Ted. Oh, thank you. Oh. Rosa. Mm. How you been? Okay. Good. What is that? Rafe left it. sure. All I know is that I have to get away from you and from Santa Barbara. No, Rafe, I think you're just upset. How about we talk about this? There's nothing to talk about, Lisa. The decision has been made and I am leaving you. Gracie wants us to adopt her baby. Gracie doesn't know what she wants. Well, she knows enough to know what's best for her child. Yes, she thought of that eight months ago. Will you give her a break? It's your job. I'm trying. That's your motivation for wanting us to adopt her child. To give her a break. I thought maybe it would give all of us a break. I don't want to adopt Gracie's baby. Case closed. How about this? When I said luxury, that's what they got us. Luxury. You know, you just got to be tough with people. Uh, will that be all, Mr. Lockridge? Yeah, thank you. It's just fine. Thanks. You sure? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. There you go. Thanks. Keep it. Woo! Whoa. Hey, look at this bedroom in here, BJ. Oh, it's gorgeous. My favorite room in the place. Perfect place for romance. Hmm? It's the perfect place for work. Work? That's why we're here, remember? Rafe here? A little while ago. He knew you were coming back from your honeymoon today. He wanted to make sure Lily got that. All right. She will. Why don't you come in here and uh, tell me, excuse me, tell me everything that we missed while we were gone. Maybe I should let your father tell you. Tell me what? I suppose you'll find out soon enough. It's your mother. What about my mother? She was poisoned, Ted. She was what? Where is she? She's in the hospital, but she's okay. What, ha what happened? Did she eat something? What happened? No, apparently Ken was doing it to her gradually. Ken? I never really liked that man, and neither did your father, but your mother is such a good, trusting soul. I'm gonna go have a little talk with him, maybe open up a new hole in his head. Ted, God took care of Ken. What? He died of a heart attack last night in his jail cell. Oh. Well, I guess that'll teach me to take such a long vacation next time. It has been a difficult week. Yeah, why don't you come upstairs to me and uh, help me unpack and you can tell me everything else, okay? Sure. Lily? Yep. I'm gonna go unpack. Okay. Thanks. So that's that. Mom, really, you outdid yourself this time. It's... I know. I fell in love with it the minute I saw it. 
And there's so much of it to love, too. Yeah. And it won't be like that blue couch that became so significant in my life. It will never be repossessed. No one can ever take this away from you. Not ever, huh? No. It'll be like a symbol of security. But you don't have to thank me. It was all my pleasure. It turned out to be nine. Apparently, Ken did the exact same thing to his first two wives. Well, Mom must be devastated. Yes, I'm sure she is. But your father's been spending a lot of time with her at the hospital. I know that has to be a great comfort to her. And how is Angela handling these turn of events? I see. You know, Rose, I'm going to go down to the hospital and find out everything for myself. That's a good idea, good. Ted. Okay. And, Ted, it's good to have you back. Well, it's good to be back. It is. I know I haven't said that in a while, but it's good to be back. Your father will be very glad to see you. say to my wife. Oh, damn. Hey, BJ, come here. view. Oh, that's incredible. I think you're pretty incredible. What's that? I don't know. We're not going to get a lot of work done with that noise. Do you mind holding that down? We got to do a little work in there. It's a little tough, you know. Hey, I'm sorry, but I got to do it. Nice catch. Thanks, lady. Hey, isn't that... Isn't that Carol Lombard? Yeah. Get a load of that wedding dress, huh? Can you imagine some poor sap of a dad laying out the bucks for that? Personally, I think it needs something. What? I think it's just perfect. I think she could use a mustache. <laughs> well, keep dreaming, people. That gown's for a uh, auction they're having uh, here at the hotel every afternoon this week. Yeah, famous Hollywood celebrities, costumes and clothes. The joint's just full of them. Mm -hmm. Really? God, I love to go. I've never been to an auction before. Really? Well, maybe we'll go tomorrow or something, huh? That'd be great. Okay. I guess you know, we should let this fellow get back to his work, huh? Uh, you know what, though? You, you like this gown so much. Uh, why don't you take a gander at the real thing? It's right around the corner. What? It's just down the hallway. Come on. Come on, I'll show you. It's down here. So what do you think? Oh, Warren. I think that's the most fantastic thing I've ever seen. Dearest Lily, 
to write this letter with a wounded heart, but a clear conscience. Oh, please. Blah, blah, blah. No, meet me this afternoon at four on the beach. The place where I first pledged my love to you. We could begin our new life together. All my love for all my life. Wait, this is more than just a love letter. Hi, I was just uh, heading to the hospital. Oh, Mom told me what happened. Yeah. I'll go with you. Okay, no, it's okay. You just stay here with Gina. Oh. By the way, someone came for you. Thank you. What's Ted acting so strangely about? This is from Rafe, Mom. I can't believe that you won't even talk about this. Maybe right. you could just... All right, it. I'll talk about it, Julia. You may or may not remember, but I've been against this whole situation from the very start. You've been against Gracie from the very start. Now you've got it. Why is it that you dislike her so much? Well, let's see. She lies. She cheats. She steals. So do you. I don't steal. Only if it's from my briefcase. Once. A year. Guilty! And I still like you. Anyway, we're not adopting Gracie. We would be adopting her child. Blood will tell. Oh, so the child is guilty of the sins of the father, or the mother in this case. The acorn never falls far from the oak. Where does that leave you? The exception to the rule. I'm nothing like my father. I never have been. Yeah, I'm Buchanan the liberal. Don't change the subject. We were talking about Gracie. I still can't quite believe that you want to adopt this person's child. I'm not absolutely certain that I do, Mason. I just haven't closed the book on it like you apparently have. I don't know why you're so vehement about it. Let me spell it out for you. Light of my life. Should we adopt this child? Gracie comes along with the whole package. And that is absolutely and completely 100% out of the question. If you believe that true love never dies, if you believe that we were meant to be, please meet me this afternoon at 4 o'clock on the beach, the place where I first pledged my love to you. And we can begin our new life together. All my love for all my life, Rafe. He wants me to run off with him, Mom. He wants me to leave Ted and be with him. Well, that's putting it mildly. What am I going to do? Good question. I mean, I, I don't know what to think, you know? It's kind of a shock. Here I am. I'm married to Ted. We're planning to build this huge dream house. And then this happens. What am I going to do? Don't answer that. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, burn the letter. You're going to say, start wearing cloves of garlic around my neck and sleep with a crucifix. You think you know me so well, don't you? You think you know exactly what I'm going to say. Sit down. I want to talk to you for a minute. I know you expect me to rant and rave and tell you what a low life Rafe Castillo is. To tell you how he broke your heart and ruined your life. And now he has the unmitigated goal to come and say, I want you back. Well, you're wrong. You're not going to rant and rave? No. What are you saying? Well, for the record, I do think Rafe broke your heart. But the only way that you can be truly happy is if you follow your heart. And if you think that Rafe is the only man that can bring you happiness, then I say go to him. I mean, I won't try to stop you. You're kidding. 
No. This isn't just some stalling tactic till the men in white coats come to take me away? I mean every word. It took me a long time to find happiness, Lily. If you found it this young, go for it. But... I knew there had to be a catch, but what? Well, just make sure you hang on to that blue couch I bought you downstairs. Because it'll probably be the only thing you and Rafe ever have together. The only way I could understand a lie that we've been living these past few months is when you say that you love me. That you did what you did because of love. Are you saying then that maybe... No, no. No, Lisa, I'm not saying anything. There is no hope for us, Lisa. I just don't love you. Don't say that, I can't please. can't live with someone who's betrayed me, someone who's lived a lie with I me. But you said that you understood, Rafe. I understand why you did it, but it doesn't excuse it. You can't have love without trust, Lisa. And once the trust is gone, there is nothing left. But that is not true, Rafe, and you know it. We had something we did. All of those times no. that we slept together... No, don't, could, there, don't, 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 don't you dare say it. Don't you dare say it. Because it wasn't love. It was a lie. A trick. A game. That you and your cohort, Rich, decided to play. And Lily and I were your pawns. All right, maybe it started out that don't, way. No, 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 don't, 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 don't try to justify it. Because you can't. You cannot justify it. The problems with your father, the insecurities you had growing up, none of that are valid reasons for what you did, Lisa. I know that. I know that now, I too. So if you just give me a second chance, I promise. Lisa, I promise no, no. I Lisa, can... you cannot. You cannot make the pain better. The pain that you caused me, the hurt that you caused Lily. No. No. So much has been lost because of you. So much time. So much happiness. So much hope. I just pray there's still time to salvage something. No, please, please. I'm begging you, don't leave me. Lisa. Lisa, in spite of everything, I really wish you well. I really do. You have a lot of love to give. The right person. That person isn't me. Vaya con Dios. Rafe, don't... do this to me. Mm -hmm. And the sleeves and, and the line of the skirt. Yeah. I don't know a lot about dresses, but I'm sure it's a real peach. You know, I think I was born way too late. I'd love to wear a dress like this with white satin shoes and my hair swept back. And after we finally do get married, we could go and jump in the nearest fountain like F. Scott and Zelda did at the plaza in New York. Mm -hmm. And then drenched with laughing, we'd throw ourselves into the back of a waiting limousine and be whisked off to the harbor. Where we'd go on the Queen Elizabeth II for our honeymoon cruise around the world. We'd take the Orient Express through all the great capitals of Europe. And return to our fabulous penthouse on Fifth Avenue. Entertain lavishly. And impress the smart set with all the stories of our travels. An old coward would write a play about us. Cole Porter would pen a musical. Gable and Lee would play us in the movie. Gable and Lee? What's with all this dialogue about a dress? <laughs> Won't expect. I'm a writer. Well, answer me one thing, will you? Hmm? Can we skip the boat ride on the Queen Mary? I get a little seasick. Anything for a wonderful husband. Good. <laughs> now back to work. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Hmm? I'd rather daydream. Well, 
You're a writer, remember, not a bureaucrat. And you have a movie to finish. What's the matter with you? Um, you know, I, I would forego the trip around the world and, and all the great experiences in the penthouse and even immortality on celluloid just to wear a dress like that just once. Fine. Get back to work. No, Warren, I mean it. You know, I'm going to have to memorize that dress. Maybe I could tell it to a, a dressmaker and have a copy made. I could go sketch it. Gee, what, what is the big deal about the dress? I'll tell you what we can do. I'll try and buy the sketch of the dress. I'm sure after they auction it off, they're going to have no use for the sketch. Would you do that? Would you really do that? Well, of course I'll do that. If you get back to work, that's all I ask. You have a movie to write. I'll go talk to the guy and see what he says, huh? Thank you. You have no idea what that means to me. You're right, I don't. Well, Warren's right. No more daydreaming. Eat up. Thank you. Mm, it smells good, too. Now, where were we? You were about to defend the indefensible, that if we adopted Gracie's baby, we'd be adopting Gracie, too. Which is exactly, ridiculous. exactly. Do we have any ice cream for this? You would ruin my pecan pie by burying it under ice cream? Sorry, bad call. So? So, Gracie knows us. She knows where we live. Do you honestly believe she'd be willing to go back to the trailer park and wait for the next tornado? No. She would want to see her child and spend time with her child. And you, soft touch that you are, would let her do just that. Not necessarily. Hear that, Rosa? Does Julia speak for you know me so well? All right. Julia, I... don't try to deny it. At first, her visits would start off nice and brief. And slowly but surely they would get longer and longer. And eventually the one-way ticket I bought for her would expire. And Gracie would move in. And Gracie would never leave. And I won't have that. Amen. Thank you, Rosa. Yeah, thanks a lot, Rosa. Sorry, I'm going. Other side. I'm not very good in the kitchen. I will not share a child. Either we have one of our own or not at all. I don't know why everybody's always against Gracie. So she makes a few mistakes every now and then. Nobody's perfect. Well, certainly no one harbors the incredible charity you do towards the woman. Charity? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's appropriate, Mason. Do you know how hard this is on her? Sponging off us when it is rough. Deciding to give up her baby is the hardest decision that she will ever make. I'm not suggesting that she doesn't give up her baby, Julia. I am suggesting that you and I do not adopt it. We're not getting anywhere discussing this like human beings. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss this like lawyers. Put on your shark face. Decide with the most evidence wins. Deal? Deal. Good. Lily will come. Lily will come. I know she will come. She will come. Rafe? Lily, you came. Lily, you came. Thank God you came.
We opened close on one of the miniature horses he had given her. His hand-painted eyes watching with glazed indifference as her nightmare continued unabated. We then pull back to see that it is one of many little horses forming a line akin to unholy dominoes. The young girl sits at the head of the line, putting the last little horse in place, tears brimming in her eyes. After a moment, there's the sound of a door opening and closing. The young girl doesn't even look. She knows who it is. Footsteps. And a man's hand appears in front of her face. Holding yet another. Guess what? Hold oh, just a second. And suddenly, as an omen, a little horses fall over one by one. And the girl just watches, knowing what's next. I'm sorry. I was on a roll. No, oh, sorry to interrupt. No, that's okay. What were you going to say? I talked to that workman out there, and that sketch is going to be available when the auction is over. That's at the end of the week, though. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you were making a little progress. Mind if I take a peek? No, that's fine. Just bear in mind it's a rough draft. Mm. That's very good. May I make a suggestion? What if he puts the horse at the head of the line, knocking the others over in the process? That way, what happens is clearly his doing and not so fatalistic on her part. That's good. Uh, I think you're right. Kiss. Well, you know now, it's your turn to write something so I can criticize it. Turnabout's fair play. You know, I'm not feeling very creative in here. I need to... Get out. Maybe just get a little fresh air. Go for a walk. I think that's a good idea. I think I'll go with you. No. 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 Why don't you just stay here for a while and uh, finish finish that up. And I'll meet you at that little garden uh, for about an hour or so, okay? Okay. Okay. I'd never come back. How did you know that Lily went to meet Rafe? I read the letter. Ted, I know how much that must have hurt you. Yeah. Well, a little while ago, I called over here and Rosa said that Lily was gone. Well, we both knew that she still had strong feelings for Rafe. But I didn't think they were so strong that she'd go running back to him. Yeah, well, you were wrong. We both were. Ted, I really thought that Lily had grown to love you. Thank you. Can I ask you a favor? Sure, anything. Shut up! We'll run off to South America. We'll start a new life. We'll put all our mistakes behind us. My sham of a marriage to Lisa, your marriage to Ted... Wait, we'll... stop. Lily. My marriage to Ted is no sham. Lily, what are you saying? I mean, it has to be here. You, you wouldn't be here. I know I'm here, Rafe, but it's not what you think. I came here to tell you that I'm staying here in Santa Barbara with Ted. He is my life now. And I can't leave him. Oh. Rafe, I'm sorry. I know this isn't what you wanted to hear, but I felt I owed it to you to come down here and tell you in person. You're so good. 
You're so beautiful. Your smile, your spirit. Wraith, your love is a gift that nobody else in my life has ever given to me. Why, Lily, then why can't we be together? Because, Wraith, I love Ted now. And Ted loves me, and I know it's a young love, like a newborn baby that still has to grow and learn its way and maybe make some mistakes along the way. But it's there. That much I'm sure of. Really? Please, please, I know that I hurt you. Rafe, look. Lily. We've had our chance, we've had our moment. If we were meant to be together, we'd be together. Rafe, in your heart you know that. And it's why, no matter how disappointed or hurt you are right now, you understand that I'm with Ted now. He's my husband. He's the man I've chosen to lead my life with. I won't walk away from that, Rafe. You wouldn't want me to. Look. I'll always love you. And I will always cherish the time we've had together. The laughter and the tears, and I'm going to keep that beautiful letter you wrote me in a special place. And I know that someday, maybe, maybe in South America, maybe high up in the Himalayas, or maybe on some white sandy beach in the Greek islands, you're going to find that girl that those words were really meant no, no, for. No, no, Rafe, no, you're going to no. You're going to find her. You're going to find your soulmate. No. Yes, you will, Rafe. I know it. And when you do, you smile that sweet smile. And you play her your special song. And give her the love that only a man with your heart can give. Goodbye. Goodbye, Condios. Great. happy. Be happy, my sweet Lily. child needs a good home and we'd be able to provide that right that down number eight gracie would keep changing the terms of whatever agreement we reach objection conjecture overruled she has yet to keep a word about a thing would you care to hear evidence no that's okay she's staying go on you have the floor samantha would have a brother and a sister or a sister maybe both the child would grow up liking country music. Objection. Argumentative. Speculative. Overruled. You can't keep overruling, me. Why not? Because I'm the judge. You cannot be both judge and lawyer. I am a judge and a lawyer, and I say sustained. The courts are going to hell. Objection. Gina asked me to bring her a scotch. Sustained. Overruled. Overruled. Sustained. Hang her. Okay. What's wrong with Gina, besides the obvious? She's upset about Lily. It's just the good stuff from Stacy's private stash, okay? Maybe I'll give her the bottle. On her head. Let's see.
pro-adopting Gracie's brat. Seven. Con, 18. I have one more. Julia, stop it. This isn't getting us anywhere. Because you're being stubborn. Yes, I was at first. I admit that. But compiling this list has made me realize something. What? That it's all right to have or to be an only child. Samantha's wonderful. And this endless discussion we're engaged in about having another child seems to diminish her in some way, and I hate that. You're out of order. I know. So are you. I know. You're also right. This isn't going to work out. So may we tell Gracie the answer is no. We're not going to adopt her baby. You may tell Gracie the answer is no. First thing tomorrow morning. Why? Case closed. her time just to make me suffer as if my daughter wasn't doing a good enough job of that already how could lily do this to me how could she go running off with some mixed up lothario you just stop talking like that you're making me nervous i'm making him nervous his wife runs off with another man and it makes him nervous what happened to rage ted what happened to good old-fashioned killing somebody because i don't think that she ran off with rage she wouldn't do that to me, not after everything we've been through. That's, that's why. Here you are. Oh, thanks. About time. Do you want anything? Yeah, I want my wife back. You better get him a drink. She's long gone. Lily! I knew you'd come back! Ted, I have a confession to make. I was with Ray. I know, I read the letter. I'm sorry, but I wanted to tell him goodbye in person. The auction. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Why would I ever wear a dress like this? I want you to wear it when we get married. What? I want you to marry me. Tomorrow, right here. Warren, yes. Yes. <laughs> Baby's all set. She's a baby Capwell. With a fortune in one hand and Gina Jeans in the other. Gina Jeans. 
Uh, there's a 